segment of uh, Big Bang Theory RL. Uh, I got through a successful day yesterday of vlogging. I would like to say I vlogged the entire day, but that wouldn't be true. Uh, one of the usual unexpected things popped up. Um, I had gone to rest my eyes, as I said before, I went my eyes needed to be uh, were, were bothering me because after seven eight hours of uh, studying of doing the research that happens sometimes and you have to go rest your eyes for a bit rest your body and then normally you can stay sleeping but I got up to go to my parents house for for dinner and my dad's computer came so I set that up for him so I gotta take a look at uh, Windows 10 Pro um, which is interesting enough. And I didn't end up getting back to my place till just about midnight, uh, one o'clock. So instead of being uh, just sort of having dinner and coming back, usually it's uh, I'm usually back by nine o'clock. So I'm in bed by 10 and finishing the rest of my sleep. So you get six hours ahead of time, you know, because you're going to bed at one, two o'clock in the afternoon. You get up at six. That's about four hours. Then you do another four hours at around around ten o'clock, eleven. So, so let's say ten o'clock. So from ten till uh, two o'clock in the morning. And that's eight hours. And if you sleep in a little bit, you want to get the uh, ten hours. That's four o'clock in the morning. That's the time we're now getting up. Uh, is it right now? It's about five thirty-six. Uh, I got up around 4.30, so I'm still within that time, that sort of, uh, my natural body rhythm is still within that time zone there. So, we're still within that ballpark. And, um, well, that's not what happened. This is, I, I, doing the configuration for Windows. And this is a new, this is a new Lenovo, uh, uh, system. It's a, it's a desktop. Actually, it's a tower. Um, so it's, it's larger than a desktop. It's got a significant amount of power in there, including a, a, a one terabyte hard drive. Uh, the, you know, quad core i7. You know, full bloom. And one of the computers I already set up for my dad because Windows had collapsed on it. It's a 10 year old system from Dell. Uh, again, a tower. And I put Kubuntu on there. Kubuntu took maybe. Two hours from repairing the damage that Windows did to doing a full install, it was about two, three hours. Easy work to do. You could stop. It was, it was, it was not a problem, you know, getting towards a stopping point where, where you could schedule out the project over a couple of days instead of doing everything at once. Windows on this, and so that is so what was basically you started at, at eight o'clock when I finished dinner. Or I actually did it over dinner as well. This one I couldn't do over dinner. Uh, it was, again, the complications with Windows, it doesn't allow you to do that. It doesn't allow you to really sort of do a hands-off approach. Uh, you can't leave it the way Linux it can be left. Uh, and, this, this is, and this is Windows 10 Pro. Did that, did the installation, did the upgrade. Didn't finish with the whole configuration until just about 11.30. It was a long time. It was so slow. I mean, 
leave it to Windows. This is this is, you know people talking about, oh Windows 10 it's a, it, it's significantly improved. It's not significantly improved. If it, if 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 Kubuntu if Linux on a 10 year old system can outpace the installation of a full blown Windows system. As compared to uh, what you have on the, a, 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 a modern, uh, a, 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 a upgraded and fully upgraded uh, Lenovo, you know, with with i you know, uh, an i seven quad core, one terabyte. If if your ten year old system can outpace Windows, you got a problem. And the thing is, Windows does things in such a convoluted way it makes configuring it configuring it a nightmare and they haven't still resolved the old windows problem and how to resolve problems the windows solution to resolving problems is blow the system away and reinstall everything this is their solution at 10 at uh, at windows 10 pro this was the solution at the XP, on xp before you started even started this whole windows the the the, the it was in XP. It was in uh, the uh, what's it called the uh, Windows Vista. It was in Vista. It was in uh, Windows Seven. It was in Windows Eight, and it's in Windows Ten. Five versions going back to two th to to XP, which is two thousand. So basically, for a 15, 16 year period, the solution to resolving Windows problems is blow the system away, lose your data on the hard drive at the same time, because they, well, they expect you to back up, but most people don't back up. So you end up losing whatever you have on the hard drive. And start all over again. It does not let you go down to the command line and do repairs, patch at a time, and bring the system back up without losing anything. Linux does this. Linux allows you to do patchwork repairs so that you can recover a system without having to blow the entire thing away and it's starting all over again. And Windows does not take, uh, Linux does not take five hours to configure properly. And I think it's, this, you know, I said, same, same in, this is the same in, same internet connection. The two different systems. The first system is a Dell system. is ten years old at least. That's the one I put Linux Kubuntu on. This is a new one now. Uh, the, the the Dell is a, uh, is a dual core. It's uh, uh, I think it's um, a dual core two. This is what they have there. Uh, this is an i seven. The new one is an i seven. It's got quad core. Higher, a significantly higher speed than the um, than the Dell, and the Dell, the ten-year-old system with Linux out there, outpaces Windows 10 Pro. Side by side, run, running side by side. Windows 10 Pro does not do networking on its own Windows type network, the Sam the Samba network. It does not do out of the box networking, it is not easy to, conf to configure. Set everything up, got it, got, put the name in a Kubuntu system, it's easy. You put the name of the uh, network that you want to connect to, the working group. You reboot your system as you, as, you, as you install, you select your shares through uh, very easily. All you have to do to select your shares, the share that drives on your, on your system, is do a right click in the file manager and you can choose what you want to want to share and what you don't want to share. Very easy. Very simple thing to do. Not on Windows. Windows has wizards to help you. And so, by the time you go through the wizards, it could take you two hours to find out that the Windows system can't see any of the other systems on the network. Well, the other systems can see the Windows system. So in other words, Microsoft screws up on its own networking products. But of course, you can always uh, 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 buy uh, Microsoft support. You know, you get a subscription to Microsoft support. 
I mean, what was the point of Windows 10 or, or Windows at all if you're not getting some product out of it? If you always have to be upgrading and paying more to get simple functionality out of it? And the thing, what I'm saying is, is that I like Linux a lot better. It's a lot more functional. It's a lot more powerful. There is more of a learning curve to, to Linux than there is to Windows. But, on the whole, comparing to what I've seen, Windows is really a step back. If you want to underpower and you want to really hobble your system, you know, you got a nice desktop system, you want to really hobble it, put Windows on it. It'll really slow your machine down. And then there's the adware now. Oh, Almost all Windows 10 and 10 Pro come with adware. They treat it like a tablet. So that people are always sending advertisements into your system. And you can't turn it off. And then you, and this, is, this, and this is after setting up a firewall. So you set up a firewall. You, you, you've locked off your system. You install McAfee uh, uh, antivirus. Open the door and allow all the adware and the spyware and the malware to come in on a subscription basis. This is this is logical. This is what you should be doing in computer science. This is what you should be doing in IT. Opening your systems up to intrusion. Oh, but it's Microsoft authorized intrusion. Much better. And they have they want you they want you to share your they openly want to tell you. They want asking to share your data. They have this 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 girl who is almost like Siri. You give her your information. You get allow her access access to your system. She roams around and and, and analyzes your system, sends the stuff back to Microsoft for them to categorize on their massive databases, and they'll give you some help in return. She'll do amazing things. You know this is it. This it's all gimmick stuff. It's not nothing. On Windows is real, and it's, it's it's some of the worst IT IT practices I've ever seen. If you wanna if if you wanna really weaken your, net, your network security, install Windows 10. Doesn't matter what version between Home or Pro. If you want the weakest security because you're opening the door to spyware, you open the door to malware, you open the door to adware, which is automatically set. It doesn't matter what firewalls you have. It bypasses them all because it's part of the core now. Install Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10. And you won't have, you'll have any problems having people coming into your network and wandering around all over the place. This is what the, what the problem is with, with Apple. Right? Why, the, why Apple is angry at, 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 at uh, Apple and not angry with, uh, 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 with, uh, with Microsoft? Because Apple uses, the Apple uh, OS is basically Linux. And it keeps the control systems locked down. So it's hard to hack a Mac. But Windows, the doors are wide open. You can walk in, walk out. You can put a bot on there. You can attack a system. Turn it into a slave system for another system. Another system's way, way away. You know, hidden on the network someplace. You know, in the, in, in the dark web. And Windows 10 won't care. Because it says, oh, it, 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 if you can make your, your, your malware, your bots, to look like official Windows 10 uh, services, the door is wide open. Wide open. So, I hope this is a, a bit of a, 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 a wake-up call for those who are on Windows. If you think your systems are secure, they're not. If you want to really secure your system, look at Win look at Kubuntu. That's the KDE version of de that's the Windows version of desktop of Linux. So if you want to you want to say, you, you like the way Windows works, and you want something like Windows look, that looks like Windows, uh, then KDE on, on on Linux is your option, right? KDE is called uh, it's K Desktop, right? That's the des desktop environment. It's well KDE K Desktop environment, right? That's the acronym there. There is, that's it. There's a bit of a learning curve, but the investment in that 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 learning curve, that investment to learn the stuff, is well worth it. 
anyways, uh, that's it for today. Uh, I'll give you the time and date stamp. It is uh, well, five hours and uh, 48 minutes into the day of Wednesday, February, I think, 23rd or 24th. Uh, and it's now uh, time to get the day started. All right. Take it easy and see you in the next segment. Well, it's just about 11.20, uh, about 20 minutes after I uh, last talked from the last segment of the BTS vlog, or uh, Big Bang Theory Ravel. Um, I'm all dressed, I've got my winter clothes on, and I'm uh, just going to put my hat on and go out the door. Uh, I should be back in about uh, two hours, and uh, the full load of food. Being a geek, I have my hat, my... This is my attempt to be kawaii. You know, this <laughs> this is what it is. So, anyways, uh, we'll see you in about uh, two hours. All right, take it easy. It is now uh, 13 hours and 9 minutes into the day of Friday, February 26, 2016. Yeah, I just got in. Uh, I left around 11 o'clock, if you remember, and it's been about two hours, a two hour, two hour hike. So now it's a t time to get undressed, uh, unpack the food, have something to eat, and then possibly we'll see after that if I'm ready enough to go to bed. Uh, I'm going to take my hat out of here, because... Uh, I'm done with this coat for about a week. This jacket is a, is a very heavy walking dra jacket. It's, it's great for when it's really cold out. You don't actually, I was out today, it was like uh, uh, just about 14, I start, started off at about 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and by the time uh, I finished, uh, it was it's still now just about 30 degrees, not even. So it's just about zero degrees Celsius. And I didn't, I didn't even feel the cold. I mean, that's, 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 the, that's the good thing. Matter of fact, now I feel the cold. Uh, my shirt is soaked with sweat. I'm taking my boots off now. Uh, so this is basically my entrance. This is where I come in. There's a, there's a warehouse behind me. We will be filming in there at some point. Just not right now. And... Ironically enough, I found a good enough place to put my tripod so I can uh, film more places than I was doing before. So now, uh, on to the rest of my day, the, sort of the next part of my day, that's unpacking and uh, uh, having something to eat, relaxing, and then possibly going to bed. Uh, that's going to be about an hour and a half from now. So maybe I'll see you right before I go to bed, you know, I'll just... I'll just uh, you know, turn on the camera, give you a few a few minutes, and say good night, and then go from there. <laughs> Alrighty, take it easy. Hello, everybody. It's about 8:45, and we're in a new room now again. Now, uh, this is room. This room is going to be fixed up, of course. Uh, it's still in progress. I got a lot of projects that are in progress uh, here. That's the way it always is, either. Something's being fixed up or taken down. Uh, the upgrades are almost continuous. Anyways, it's uh, eight hours and four minutes into the day of uh, Saturday, February 27, 2016. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I forget what the time and date is and what the year is. You know, I almost said 2015 or 2027. Um, yeah, I didn't vlog in the morning. Uh, this, it's, this is about afternoon, afternoon for me. I've already had lunch, uh, and I'm just in the process of doing what I call my hydration. Uh, after, uh, walking, I did that yesterday. Uh, it, t it does take a while for the body to recover and repair itself, but you also need to put the fuels in there. There's the solid fuel, which is the solid food that you have, uh, and then there is, uh, the liquids, like milk, water, juice, etc. Uh, and right now I'm going to be doing uh, 
uh, basically 500 milliliters, 500 milliliters of milk. Uh, that seems to be what my body wants. And then later on, about uh, an hour from now, I'll do uh, about a liter of water. Uh, the hydration part it is not only just liquids, but it's also water as well. So that's why I'm doing the 50 mil, uh, the 50 milliliters or half a liter of of uh, milk right now, and I'll be doing uh, an entire liter in about an hour, and that will sort of uh, replenish my body's liquid levels. What in terms of what in terms of uh, what I think is required. What my body seems to be required. Uh, I know about. Uh, I know my hydration levels is when my lips start to get chapped. That's where I need more fluids. It will be either a, a just a regular type of fluid like like a milk or a juice, or more of a hydration type of thing like like a water. This is what what will sort of come into play depending on what I've already had. If I've already had juice and milk, then it's going to be water. That's basically the way it is. Water is always the last bit that go in uh, because it actually helps uh, to uh, dilute and promote the absorption of the materials that the liquids that have already gone in or the salts that have already gone in. So uh, that's why uh, water is always the last for me. Uh, anyways, uh, today is going to begin, uh, and this is why I didn't vlog, uh, vlog in the beginning, in the morning. Today begins our first uh, filming day. This is the first day on the filming schedule. We're back to Cyborg Alpha TV Network. And uh, we're going to see how things go. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here right now. I'm going to have my milk. And uh, I'll see you in a little bit for the next segment of the Big Bang Theory RL. All right, take it easy and have a good day. Well, it's about midday for me anyways. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning on uh, Saturday, February 27th, 2016. You know, so it's about 10, 59, yeah, 10 hours and 59 minutes into the day. Yeah, uh, I've, been working, I've been going since about 6, so about 5, 6 in the morning. Uh, I usually start waking up around between 4 and 4.30, then out of bed by uh, 5. This is sort of the current schedule anyways. Uh, and then I didn't do uh, the video, the first video for the day, until uh, about lunch, little, just a little after lunch, I was in my hydration process. So, uh, so has it been about, let's see, so... Let's say five o'clock till till eleven. This is six hours. Now I'm gonna take a bit of a break. Uh, I'm gonna rest my eyes. In about two hours, I will start the remainder of the day. Uh, sort of the second half of the day. There'll be another six hours left to go. Uh, so let's say if I go about two o'clock, it'll take me to eight, and then I'll take. I'll probably gonna be in what I call the sort of oscillating uh, sleep mode for a bit. It has to do with, with, the, with the way my body fatigue is uh, after walking in terms of uh, uh, rebuilding the body. Sometimes it, it takes longer for the body to recover, so I need a little bit more sleep. But uh, to get all the work done I need to get done, I need to sort of, the uh, sleep sort of gets staged in there uh, bits and pieces at a time. So uh, that's kind of uh, what's happening now. Uh, but the good thing is, is that the uh, schedule's being cleared. I'm starting to get more of the work done. So that means when I get up, uh, filming and editing is on schedule. And that's right, Cyborg Alpha TV is up next on the schedule. And, uh, I'm going to start uh, doing the filming, uh, basically as soon as I get up. So from, from this little bit of a rest. Anyways, I'll see you then and I'll talk a little bit more about what's going on throughout the day. All right, take it easy.
Welcome. Welcome to the library. I am the library. I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth. professor and professor of what professor of physics oh say can you see by the dawn's early light free speech rules here at democratic earth, earth. 